And you said that one of the RAs, your friend Ryan, was a victim. I found out shortly before the staff meeting when I find out, found out that Cho is the shooter, that Ryan was dead. Um, that if, you know, a friend of, and again, it was through, you know, channels of friends that were in the band with him. And they said that, you know, it wasn't a rumor and his family lived in Georgia. They weren't there, but friends of his had gone to the hospital to see if he was okay. And none of his family were there. And eventually the nurse was like, he's dead. They told him. So he, we found out that he had died um, that night. Did anybody else you know that die or get wounded that you knew? I did know, you know, I knew a couple people, not extremely intimately, but um, another RA was killed that I knew of, um, several people that I was in classes with and just like acquaintances that I knew, not no like extremely close friends, but. So it's one thing when somebody you know dies either from old age or things that you're sort of expecting. What is it like when your friend died from a mass shooting? Like, it's, I don't know. You just feel so violated in so many ways. It's, it's almost hard to describe. You feel somewhere where you used to feel safe and, and comfortable is just, you're just naked. You know, someone's exposed every every part of you, and you don't feel safe. It's it's awful. For I mean, for a while afterward, I beat myself up about you know what could I have done to to get through to him. Like maybe I didn't maybe I I didn't spend enough time with him, talking to him, trying to get through to him, trying to be his friend. Um, but after a while. I don't, I know it kind of just reached a conclusion that I just was like, I don't think that would have helped anything. Who knows? Maybe he would have come after me first. Um, I'm sure he walked right past my door to, to go out and shoot all these people that I know.